Here we are, everybody. We are back on the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John, the Radio Digest version of the Santa Cruz Gazette and Free Classifieds for all you need to know to be in the know on Santa Cruz's hometown station, AM 1220. Now, Doug, I, 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 I got a special prize for you. A what? special surprise. What? Well, I know, I know how much you like to drink. Don't say that on the air. Oh, I know how much you like to be around adult beverages and consume them I like them to be times. around people and have fun. There you go. All right. Well, I have I have a buddy of mine, Kyle Swick, from SUVHappyHour.com. Oh, can we call him Mr. Happy Hour? I don't know. Kyle, can we call you Mr. Happy Hour from now on? <laughs> you can call me Mr. Happy Hour. That's awesome. Okay. All right, Mr. Happy Hour. Congratulations. You've got a promotion. Thanks for coming on, man. So, all right. So, Mr. Yeah, Happy Hour, tell us a little bit about what SUVHappyHour.com is because it sounds awesome. Actually, yeah, well, let me, awesome. let me just start, you know, how I came about the idea. Basically, I was in between jobs, and, you know, I still wanted to go out and eat and drink, but on a budget. So I went to the Internet and just tried to look for happy hours. I just could not find anything. And that's where I came up with the idea to, comp- to create a comprehensive, detailed list of all the happy hours of the bars and restaurants in Santa Cruz Valley. So a- not just to – and it, some of the places do have, you know, listing of kind of a range – of, of prices and just a very, very vague. So my idea was to make it very, very comprehensive and complete um, to really just list out exactly all the times, the hours, the, and exactly the, the specials and really in detail to really list them all out. So you, you can basically just go right to your phone or, or your, your computer and basically when you're on the move to really see exactly what the offer versus just a range from, from start to finish. And then on top of that, you know, basically I have a lot of photos on the, my site for each uh, each restaurant to kind of show you, give you a little preview of what the, what the establishment looks like. So it kind of gives you a really good idea of what the bar area, where the happy hour specials are actually happening, uh, to give you photos exactly uh, of each bar and restaurant. So and that's uh, that's kind of how I came up with the idea, Mr. Happy Hour. Let me ask you this: Do you rate? Do you recommend? Or do you basically list and provide information? Right now, I'm just listing and providing information, but it's it's all work in progress. So, you know, I, I plan to even get a, a mobile app. Wow. Um, but I have have a lot of uh, comments about actually doing reviews on each each part each bar or restaurant. So, yeah, that is is kind of in the works too. That is definitely an idea. Well, let me ask you this: What is your Mr. Happy Hour's definition of a good happy hour? Ooh, good question, Doug. That's like one. That's that's well, one time today. Know, I can't write that down. Yeah, you know, I want a deal. I want a special. Um, so it's really going to be rated around what kind of deal does the establishment offer? Um, you know, some of the great happy hours out there are, for example, Sicily at the mall. They have a happy hour which is all day, every day. There's not too many of them out there that do all day, every day, and they do a nice wow. list of drinks and food specials. And it's basically at the bar or the sidebar area, so that's that's one of the limitations for it. But it is all day, every day. That's a great one. Uh, also, some of the more fine dining restaurants, like Olive Terrace Bar and Grill, is a great one. That's under new ownership too. They have a great happy hour. Uh, Larson, Salt Creek. So uh, you're looking. They have a pretty so, good so you're happy looking hour. for you're looking for not only drink specials but food specials too, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So I'm combining the. Uh, the appetizers and the drink specials all in one. And that, I've actually kind of pushed the envelope a little bit, too. If the establishment has some daily specials, like Chewy's has some great uh, daily specials, I've, I've put those in there, too. Big Wang's has some uh, daily specials, the sports bar. So I've listed those also. So it's really focused around That's the happy hour, but I am a little bit flexible to, uh, to list you know, some other options for the restaurant. Now, as far as your personal taste to go, does ambiance have anything to do with a place you'd like to go to? You know, what, it, it, I think it's really a matter of choice. It's all if you want to go to the dive bar, like you know, Burgies or Mabel's. I mean, they have great, great happy hours also. So it really just kind of depends which what you're in the mood for. That's what's kind of cool about it. If you yeah. want to go to the dive bar, or do you want to go to a Larson's a more fine dining establishment, or do you want to go to like the Varsity Draft House? It used to be the Tilted Kilt, you right. know, so more of a sports bar feel too. So you really have a nice variety of you know a lot of different options for you. All right, so here's here's my question. The the happy hour scene in Santa Clarita, what do you think? Is on a scale of one to ten, what are you gonna give it? I, I think we got great happy hours. I was I would say an eight overall. Really? Oh, that's yes. impressive. That's and impressive. In, in in my search also it was kind of an eye opening experience to really see some of these restaurants and bars like, wow, I didn't even know you had a not, uh, happy hour. I didn't even know you had a great happy hour. Wow. So that's what I've really come, kind of come across. New Moon Restaurant's one of my new clients there. 
Um, they have a great, uh, it's more Chinese flair, but they have a great happy hour in the bar. they got some really small little plates that are excellent, and they have some great drink specials. Oh. Um, Azul Tequila, a Mexican restaurant, they're a great one. they got Coors Light for 99 cents. How are you going to beat that? Uh-oh. He just piqued Doug's interest. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen Doug. No, Doug, sit back down. He almost jumped out of his chair. A, he's cheap, and B, he likes Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> so... Mr. Happy Hour, tell us your website so folks can check this out. Yeah, so it's uh, www.scvhappyhour.com. I also have a Facebook also. I'd love for anybody to like me on the Facebook so I can kind of build my social media um, people. But, uh, yeah, scvhappyhour.com. And uh, if you do search for uh, the individual restaurant happy hour, it'll come up pretty high in Google in the top of the search for you, too. But that's it. I'm always improving. It's always work in progress, but uh, I think it's a great resource for the residents of Santa Cruz Valley. All right, wait a minute. All right, I'm I, I'm really good at the whole double speak stuff. I'm it's a work in progress. Okay, I'm always looking to improve. So that means you go to happy hours a lot. That's what you're really saying, isn't it? Well, not really. I mean, I know I have to do my research, right? Yeah, it's all so research. To, <laughs> you it's found an update, and you know what's kind of nice too. A lot of the establishments like to mix it up and change. So I'm really trying to keep on top of the updated of the changes to the happy hour, so I'm trying to keep that very as current as possible. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's it's awesome. fun. Hey, Mr. Happy Hour, are the places, the establishments aware of you and your site? Yes, they are. I'm, I'm getting more and more hits. I've got about 2,000 hits in the last three months on the site, so I'm just trying to really build it up. I've uh, advertised with the signal. I had a nice half-page uh, article done up on me uh, two, two Wednesdays ago in the Connect, and uh, I'm getting a lot of... Uh, a lot more traffic, basically, yeah, you, um, every you, week. You're going to have to fix that. You're going to have to start writing for the Gazette. You know that, That's right? That's right. <laughs> this is the Gazette radio hour. Yeah. You're, and you're my new hero because you found a way to basically write off your bar tab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying. All right. <laughs> Mr. Happy Hour, you're coming back on. You know that, right? Yes, I would love to come back and give you any updated uh, new restaurants and new happenings and oh, new wow. happy hours or the new drink special of the week. Love to do that. Great. Sounds good. All good right. Stuff. All right, Mr. Happy Hour, thanks so much. All right, thanks for having All me, right. guys. All right, yeah. we'll talk Bye-bye. to you soon. All right, you listen to the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John on AM twelve twenty KHTS. It's a happy hour. Are we on? Uh, are we on? Is, is, this check, thing, check, check. is this thing working? It's a new board op. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> we have Dana as our board op today. We're used to Peter, and we have the lovely Dana today. And she's doing a great job. Anyway, Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz hometown station AM twelve twenty is where we're at, and it's the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John. For all you need to know to be in the know. Doug, I have one more thing on my list uh, of things to, to talk to you about. I wanted to wish you a happy Mother's Day, Doug. What? I ain't no mother. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, in all seriousness. I ain't no mother. <laughs> John, you were really into that fight the other night. That, uh, who was it? Pacquiao and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was, was that guy's name? mother. <laughs> um, Merriweather? Shaft. Um... Fairweather was his name? <laughs> Mayweather. Mayweather. Fairweather. Anyway, I'm not into boxing. I didn't watch it, but I You heard, didn't watch it? No. I heard there I think I pay a hundred dollars. And well, then, but yeah, I heard it was a big anticipation. I'm surprised you're still here when you know there's some place serving ninety nine cent cores yeah, last. And then I heard it was uh, anticlimactic. What's your take on it? Um it was exactly what it was supposed to be. Uh, Mayweather's st- uh, style Doug, if you don't know anything about fight boxing, okay, but you know you've seen UFC fights? No. Okay. But you Is that where they kick? Yeah, you would imagine okay. that wow, you don't really like any of that stuff, do you? Football, baseball, basketball is only. Football, baseball, basketball? Yeah. You need to expand your horizons a little bit. Oh, professional wrestling. Maybe <laughs> not that far. We're going we're gonna to have... We're gonna I know have, we had that. We're going to have Mr. Wrestler yeah, back on good. maybe next week. That guy week. was good. Maybe we'll have Mr. Wrestler back on next week for you. You really like professional wrestling? No, I don't. Okay, good. Because this was... Would look, you answer my question, please? His styles make fights. Okay. okay. If and you get two guys that, that, that their style is the same. Okay, let me ring, ask you. You watched it, correct? I watched it. Did you enjoy it? I had a great time. I was at a great party. I had won money on the Kentucky Derby. But was it a good fight? No. Okay. I knew it wasn't supposed to be a good fight. So it wasn't Fraser Ali. It was not going to be Fraser Ali. Uh, uh, styles make fights, Doug. If I'm a guy that stands in the ring and bounds the bejeebies out of you, and you do the same thing, then it's going to be a good fight. Okay. Because we both have that same style. All right. Mayweather's style is, I'm going to hit you, but I'm going to make sure two things. One, you can't hit me. And two, if you do hit me, it's only going to be one time because I'm going to make sure you can't hit me again. And that's exactly what he did. 
now there's going to be a lawsuit because Pacquiao yeah. allegedly now, was hurt. Let me ask you, what about that? Was his shoulder hurt? Should they have postponed the fight? Yes, should he yes. Be, was Should he have been allowed to be injected with um, some he, pain medicine? He, yes, yes, and no. How's that? Okay. okay. He sprung it on the Las Vegas, from what I understand, he sprung it on the Las Vegas Boxing Commission at the last minute going, oh, by the way. Like that day, you mean? Yeah, when he, when he was requesting permission to be injected with a, a, a muscle relaxant, I think is what it was. I don't know if it was a painkiller. Um, and they go, what? No, wait a minute, time out. You can't do this. What should have happened is they should have, he shouldn't have lied because I think you signed something that say I'm f- currently fit to fight, blah, right. blah, blah. I don't have any, whatever. I don't know. It's probably some lawyer waiver that you have to sign. He signed that. So is there something there? Yeah. Are they going to just pay it and hush it up and let the fur die? Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. But So uh, football, basketball, baseball. baseball yeah. No hockey? You're not watching the hockey playoffs. I grew playoffs? up in the desert. I don't know oh hockey. Oh my gosh! You need to watch the hockey playoffs. There is nothing better than over than, than playoff hockey. Period. I agree. When it's overtime, sudden death. Oh, but even stuff. before then, yeah. every game of the Washington Capitals, New York Rangers, has been decided by one goal. Capitals are up three one. Not counting. See if the Dodgers are on or it's hockey. I'm watching Dodgers. Sorry. Even game like seventeen. Oh, I did watch game seven last year. The Kings. Let's see. And, that, uh, and did you enjoy it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you to it. Because it was overtime. Rises. It was exciting. Sudden death. That but what was about exciting. what about the fact that it, it, it takes that whole game to get to that point? No. Wow. Can't do it. Anyway, Yeesh. what do you think of the Clippers Houston series basketball? Oh, it's you really like this stuff, don't you? Wow. I, to me, it's to me that's boring until the last couple minutes. I'm not asking your opinion of the sport. I'm asking you to not no, analyze even, the even series. The, even the playoff <laughs> series is boring in the last couple minutes. You could skip the entire game and come in for the last. Two minutes of the game. I wouldn't and say the last. I'd say the last four, quarter and a half. Oh come on, quarter and a half. Yeah. You, how many times? Middle of the team, third quarter. How many times? Yeah, that's when they finally start to play. Not in the playoffs. Oh come Regular on. Regular season, I agree with you. It's yeah. It's, in the playoffs, they get after it right away. Not really. I. Right. I think uh, is Chris Paul hurt still. That is game time decision. Oof. Yeah. The other team, the other one that's that really got hurt is John Wall. Yeah, great that, player. Oh my gosh, that's not good. That's not that. good for the for the the, uh, the, the other series. series I find interesting, John. Even though you don't, is Cleveland Chicago. <sighs> interesting series. Everybody's hurt. Yeah, a lot, of injuries, a lot of, a lot of injuries. Lot of lot of injuries. Basketball. Have, um, it's not good basketball. Good LeBron it's, James. It's, fun to it's watch. not fundamental of basketball. So uh, okay, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, uh, <laughs> <yeah>, Dodgers. <laughs> you've you've already. You, I know where you are. You're looking for the bar with the ninety nine cent <laughs> Coors Light. <laughs> I wish. Not tonight. Did you see him light up? Wow, that was amazing. So, uh, Dodgers are playing today? It's at 540. It's in Denver, but there's a 100% chance of rain. So, we're like the Dodgers pregame show, aren't we? In a way, we are. It's time for Dodger baseball. I am concerned about their starting pitching. Three. Well, I heard um, uh, Puig's coming back. Next week. I heard... uh, We haven't missed him, though. Jansen's coming back? Yeah, in a couple weeks. Yeah, you haven't missed him. What's What's his name? Um... Which one? Uh, eight RBIs yesterday. Oh yeah, the um, the catcher. Yeah. What's his name? Um, wow, he's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Tinkers to ever such a guy from Cuba. <laughs> oh, Yasiel Puig, he's playing catcher now. It's Who's on first? Doug? It's his buddy. No, <laughs> Guasmal. Um, I can't think of his first name. Uh, Everybody that's listening, to Dodger fan, going you idiot, idiot! They're <laughs> yelling at the radio what the guy's name. Actually, is. they're probably doing that anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a so. Uh, do you even do you really think that baseball is important right now? Yes, it's very. game what twenty two, twenty three. Listen to me. When you get to the end of the season and you're a half a game out of first right. place, you're going to wish you won exciting. every game in May. Okay, how many games up with the Dodgers now? Uh, four, I believe. Four. Yes. Okay. And and the leader on who? Uh, San Francisco. Really? Okay. San Diego's in the mix. Colorado went to the cellar. Arizona's playing good lately too. All right, so uh, we're making. Let me ask you this: the uh, Boston Red Sox uh, pitching staff's terrible. They fire the pitching coach. Do they really agree or disagree? Is it his fault? It's May. (laughs) 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 Who cares? (laughs) Who cares? All right, Dana's yelling it's at you. Just, I know. It's, it's, it's way too soon. It's, no, it's her solo flight as the board off, and she wants to make sure baseball we get out before the news. Until she doesn't June. want to get in trouble. All right, fine. I guess we could say goodbye, I guess, Doug. What do you think? No, I mean, you're, kind of, you're really, you're really on the, uh, Coors Light, 99 cents, aren't you? No, you okay. know what? It's on the other side of town for me. I can, uh, cannot do point. that. Yeah, do not drink and drive. There is Uber out here. Do you drive for Uber? No, you deliver pizzas. All right. Well, it's been another good week, hasn't it? Great show. Best ever. All right. <laughs>
We'd like to thank the board op. Listen to the Gazette Radio with Doug and John on AM1220. We'll be back next week.